This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Joan of Arc. I am joined by Leo. Uh, Leo, today we're playing a historical scenario, yeah? We are. We are playing the very first uh, battle from Joan of Arc, mm -hmm. the Siege of Orleans. Uh, the oh, Orléans. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, it's called the Garrison of Saint Lou, which mm -hmm. is the smallest garrison that was protecting the the city of uh, Orléans mm -hmm. uh, from the English. And for once, I'm going to play the English. <laughs> <laughs> and you will be playing the Joan French. of Arc. <laughs> I will be taking out Joan of Arc. Uh, unfortunately, this is reasonably early in her uh, her campaigns. Yeah. Yes. So she, she hasn't not leveled troops up? or anything yet. No. You know, she hasn't leveled up. And I'm, I'm literally starting out with some provincial militia and some peasants. So she peasant was giving her, given her army by the Dauphin, mm -hmm. and this will be her first remarkable uh, action. Yes. Let's see if history repeats. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the key for me in this scenario is that I am coming into this area where some French forces have attacked this village over here and basically been repulsed. So currently all of these French units are routing. So I am trying to gather them up, bring them back into line so we can continue the assault on the town. Yeah? So as long as they are routed, they are not part of your army. You can't activate them. Yep. They can only defend. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of each turn, we'll see what they do. Do mm -hmm. they come closer to you? Do they come closer to exiting and leaving? Yeah, or yeah, do yeah. they stay where they are? It will depend on a, a, a dice roll. Mm -hmm. But then uh, if I can kill them, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it will help me gain victory points. Because yeah. in this scenario, we will, uh, the, the one who wins is the one with the most victory points. Mm -hmm. So uh, gaining victory points from my side, if I understand it correctly, is that for each routed unit that I bring back into line and rally into my army, I gain one victory point. Absolutely. And for each of my units inside your village at the end of the game, I gain two? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And then on your side, what do you gain victory points for? I gain victory points every time I kill uh, one of your unit, except for uh, the peasants and the provincial militia okay. that don't gain me, give me anything. Uh -huh. Every time I destroy one of these, I also gain uh, an intrigue point. We'll mm -hmm. talk about this uh, later. Uh, and if I kill Joan of Arc, or if she's uh, uh, disrupted at the end of the game, I gain three victory points. So I know who, I, who I'm going to focus on. <laughs> All right. Now, this is going to be quite the short scenario. Six rounds of play, uh, yes. three activation and two activation cards in the deck. Yes. Uh, if you've watched any of our Let's Plays before, you'll know how the game runs. But uh, if there's anything you're confused on, we do have those previous Let's Plays out there where we are playing at slower speed. This one is going to be myself and Leo going hammer and tongs at each other yeah. playing at full speed. Oh, it's, it's the first time on camera that we shoot some uh, a video with the intrigue. Mm -hmm. system and with the discussion system. So gotcha. uh, only in this scenario, there's only one uh, commander, mm -hmm. which is John Park. Park. I don't have any, you know, I don't have anyone to command. I just have men uh, uh, at arms, uh -huh. right? Uh, well, just men, soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are the only one who can discuss with the civilians, but you need to enroll them first. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three uh, civilians here. We have uh, uh, the merchant girl, mm -hmm. we have the apothecary, and we have the citizen. And then there are two uh, uh, um, two civilians here, mm -hmm. but uh, because they are on my areas, uh, they have become English. <laughs> if, <laughs> so I have the priest and uh, the blacksmith. If you're they, the boys with the pointed bits of metal. Yes, we like you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If at some point uh, they are left alone, mm -hmm. then you can recruit them and then yeah. you can talk to them. You can get some intrigues and so on. Right. Okay. Interesting question then. So say I'm fighting with you in a hex and there's a civilian with you. If that civilian survives and I kill all of you, do they become neutral and then turn to my side on my next activation? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I have the first player marker. Um, yeah. Uh, so the intrigue, we, we haven't mentioned oh, yes, what yes, it is. Yes, yes. So the intrigue are cards, specific cards for each of the scenarios. So mm -hmm. you have intrigues for uh, the, the English uh, side and mm -hmm. intrigues for the French side. Mm -hmm. So when you, yeah, go ahead and tell. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, so all of mine cost one and I'll, I'll quickly read mine out to you. So for one intrigue, I can play back in action, rally all allied destroyed or disrupted peasants. I've got counterattack, which is gain the replay uh, ability, which is I can reactivate a space that's already activated that Very turn. Cool. Normally you can't. Uh, and that's actually pretty damn powerful, just being able to grab one of those when I want. Uh, the last one is called reinforcement. So I roll three black dice and I gain one experience for each shield I roll. 
So for you to get some intrigue points is not easy. The, the easiest way is either to, to, to do some discussions with the mm -hmm. civilians or if you uh, enroll uh, the merchant girls because mm -hmm. Chip can provide one intrigue point per turn. Ooh, that could be useful. That could be useful yeah. because it would just be getting that extra but activation she's every turn. Here. She's, she's really far, far out of the way. She's right up at the back of the board. But if my forces start to retreat that way, I might be forced that way anyway. My intrigue card uh, is uh, for one intrigue, I get spirited, which means I can move one civilian one area. So mm -hmm. any civilian. So I could get them closer to me. Uh, for two intrigue, I get the raid card, which means I gain, I gain one uh, react, uh, interrupt act, uh, order, Ooh, that's like a blue one. Useful. Yeah, very useful. And then the last one is plunder. Uh, if I use this intrigue after destroying a unit, uh, I double the amount of uh, experience tokens awarded, awarded from destroying this unit. Ah, interesting. All so, right, well, okay. shall we begin a round? Yes, so who's got the first player token? That'll be me. General All right. Art, the hero's going first. So the first thing to do is we flip this, which actually tells us how many activations we're getting this round. We're getting three. So I get three tokens. You get three. Uh-huh. Three for me. So I'll grab those and put them on my board. Now, what does the War Council say? The War Council says, draw three cards. <laughs> so we can get... Oh, you can destroy one of my activation uh, uh, banners. Yeah. banners. Uh, we can convert a regular banner for a charge banner. Mm -hmm. Or we can gain a interrupt banner. Mm -hmm. So you first player, you choose first, but I can still choose the same card as you. So what do you choose? Mm. I'm going to grab an interrupt banner because I think being able to just react during your turn quite useful, and it's an extra order. I'll destroy one of your activations. Just one of my regulars. Yes, yes, just one of your regulars. Okay. So I I still have three but I have one that's a special, which is quite nice. Hmm. Okay, uh, I will begin activating then. So my first one, obviously, is going to go onto my rally point area here. And we're going to start moving. So I activate everybody who's oh, in here. Before we start, yes. we need to, to see what happens with the routed... Uh, ah, yes. Good point. So, I will take this back. Yes. So. Because And how do you rally them? There are two ways of rallying them. Mm -hmm. Either you enter uh, their area with Joan of Arc, mm -hmm. they automatically rally, yep. or if they, they are rallied to your rally point, mm -hmm. they are rallied. Okay. okay. So uh, we'll just go left to right on this. So we'll begin with the cavalry and yes. then work our way through everybody else. Yeah. So I have six units to roll for. So cavalry, uh, they get to move one towards my rally point, yes? Yes. So they will move from here to here. So yes, good. they have the, the, the routed uh, token, means meaning you can't activate them. You can yep. only defend them. So who's next? Uh, next, we will go with the... Uh, the pikemen? The pikemen. Oh, the Scottish pikemen. The white be with the white base, yes. So we'll roll Scottish for Scottish pikemen. Uh, ooh, so they, they move close, uh, as close to the next, uh, the nearest uh, exit uh, border. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Is there anything closer? One, two, three, four, five. So in that case, you choose. If there are two two paths, uh, you you choose which one. Okay, I will have them move no, here. No, you can't because this is look. This oh, is not. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's either here. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's either here, uh -huh. or it would be one, two, three, four, five. So it's either here or here. Let's see. Hmm. Well, if I move them into here, it could be useful. But I think I want to be attacking you. So I think I'm actually going to move them right up next to your walls, hiding behind the... And I don't have any tree. interrupt, so you don't risk uh, anything for now. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is the two-handed uh, men-at-arms, yeah. so the knights. Uh, they get out of action. They don't, they don't move. OK, so they're just hunkered down. Uh, next is the... Uh, Knights who are impetuous. The impetuous knights, yes. So they get. They stay, they stay where, where they are. are. Uh, regular knights, uh, they actually move towards a board edge. So from here, one, two, three. Or one, one two, two, three. Up to you. So I think I'll push them here. You want them with the crossbowmen. Okay. Because if the crossbowmen hold their ground, that could be good because then I can get two for one. But I have to roll for the crossbowmen. 
uh, they get ah, they get to move t closer to my rally point. So, so I assume it's shortest distance, so it will yes. be into here. Yes. So they've just traded places. That's okay. Okay, I can work with that. Now you can. Now, now you I can, can start activating. Yeah. So the first one, obviously going into here where my rally point is, and everybody activates. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Joan, Pikeman, Pikeman, and then Peasants, Peasants, and Peasants. Now I can only have six in this space because it's a half space, which leaves this last little unit of Peasants on their lonesome. Do you want to use your command ability with Joan to, to ask the peasants to go somewhere? Uh, well, they're already activating because I've activated the space. Oh, yeah. You first activate them. You want to move them somewhere. So I would move them here. And then, and then you I will use your command, command to command. I will command them to here. OK. Uh, I will then activate Joan's again. thing again. And I will have her move up to here. And that's another six space, which is fine. I will then have her command, and I can't do it from my own space. No, but what's your what's your range? It's one hex. Yes. Oh yeah. So I could command these guys again. Yeah. And I think I will. I'll command them to move to here. Okay. And at that, I also get her reactivate ability. Yeah, now, you, you want to read is, it? What, what does it say? So it says, once per round, when Joan is activated, gain and immediately play one replay banner from the camp, uh, from the common pool yeah. uh, in an allied area located up to three areas away. OK, so anywhere up to three. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just play it on her current area. Yeah. And I will have her and the pikeman move into here. Oh, you're going to recruit the citizen. The citizen, yes, because I think it could be useful. So I will put that on there. I am then going to have the three peasants who are left over. You you have one more here. room if you want here. One, I two, three, actually four, don't four. want. I want to actually keep the peasants together okay. because they have a special ability support, okay. which means they gain uh, essentially some extra defense whenever they're all together, I believe. Sure. Which I, I think could be useful for them because I think you might be about to shoot them. Uh, that is all of my banners, unless I want to use that reaction banner. As a normal activation? As a normal activation. Or do, do you want to I save want it? To? I think I want to save it. So I will save that. And now we're on to your turn, yeah? Yeah. So all you right. have to remove your banners. On the yeah. OK. That's my banners so away. Having that one destroyed kind of hurt. <laughs> all right. So it's my turn. I only yes. have three activations, so it's mm -hmm. going to be a slow start. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to use to activate my four bowmen mm -hmm. that will roll. They roll two white, two yellow dice each, and they replace their shield with uh, a disrupt. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty good. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Usually it's always against me. I hate them, but now I love them. Well, hold on. Who are you targeting in here? Um, well, you know, I will. You, you can't interrupt me. No, 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 not right now, but I'm, I'm just wondering who the target is. Yes. Uh, oh, I, have, I only have a range of two hexes. So oh, yes. one, two, one, two, uh, one, two. Oh, I can't reach Joan, unfortunately. Yes. Oh, and I can't move here because... I'm already there. Oh. A little bit rough. All right. So in that case, uh, I will shoot at the routing guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, the most dangerous are definitely the two-handed uh, foot soldiers, mm -hmm. uh, foot knights. So I will, I will roll yeah. uh, half of them on here mm -hmm. and half of them on these ones. Ah, okay. Oh, no, these ones. Ah, so the, the impet. Oh, no, that's the, the Scottish. Scottish so so okay. let's first start with the Scottish. OK, what do you get? So I get, uh, well, the shield becomes a disrupt. I get one disrupt and two push. OK, uh, those Scotsmen, they gain one yellow dice in defense. OK. So hopefully I can get rid of that disrupt, Yeah. if I'm lucky. But no. No, I'm not lucky. They're disrupted. Yep, so they're off table. 
which puts them out to here for now, and I will have to roll for those on the white dice of death and doom and destruction. Uh, so the second set. second set, still from the same, uh, mm -hmm. they're targeting the uh, yes. uh, two-handed foot knights. Mm -hmm. Hit me. One, one disrupt and two push. Mm -hmm. what do they so have? one black die for yeah. them. Yes, one black die. Uh, they get a shield. Oh. So no disruption, but you can push them. I can push them, and I can push them anywhere I want. Yes. You could push them into Joan. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to push them um, here. Ah, wrong ones. Two-handed. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, no, no, no. I don't want to push them. Uh, I'll push them here. Okay. Uh, okay, my second uh, activation will be for the mounted bowmen. Mm -hmm. And they have haste two, which means they can move two. And so they will move. They will move one, two mm -hmm. here. And the priest is not going to stay alone. Otherwise, uh, yeah, he will become neutral. neutral. So he will move with these guys here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm good okay. here. And the mounted bowmen will probably leave their horse and become regular ah, okay. uh, bowmen at the end of their turn. So, yes, I, I replace them with bowmen, so I, I drop the card. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. now they're on a hill, which means... Uh, I have plus one range, so instead oh. of two hexes, I can shoot up to three hexes. So, one, two... You could hit Joan now. I could hit Joan, but only with four dice, which is not great, but it's still worth trying. Mm. I will do that. I will, I will shoot at Joan. This is why I kept the, the Provincial Militia with her, because they have some defensive dice to throw into this pool. Yes, and you are with uh, you are in the forest. You you can reroll one defense dice. Yes. So I need a good roll. Uh, it's not too bad. I have two disrupt and one push. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I will take one black dice and two yellow dice, and that's what I get to roll for this defensive roll. So one shield, and I will reroll a yellow dice. For nothing. So something is getting disrupted. And something you is choose which one. You choose who is going to be disrupted. Um, hmm. Honestly, there's a peasant there. The citizen, you mean? The citizen, I think. The Although, citizen? Oh, hang on. Because I have him, I need to take his card now. So when I activate him, I gain an experience. And the militia aren't worth anything to you if you kill them. Yeah. yeah. So actually, I'll let one of the militia become disrupted. Yeah. And okay. he'll go out to here. Yeah. And then I will let you push the other militia. Okay. I'll move them here. Okay. This is fine. And I have one last... Oh, no. Did I play all of them? Uh, yeah, that was your last one yeah. because you played it into yeah. here. Okay. Also, what we forgot to do is ask if I want it to interrupt at any point. Yeah. It does happen. We have to remember it. So you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> or did you want to? <laughs> uh, honestly, not particularly, because there's nothing really I could have done to have got out of that, except for maybe retreat. Yeah. And I don't really want to do that, just because I need to get my forces back together. But it's, it's my bad, because you had an interrupt uh, banner. I should have asked at the end of each of my turn, do you want to interrupt? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Well, that'll be your round, yeah? Yes. So, uh, new round. So first thing I have to do, I have to roll for my routed units, or my disordered units, yeah. and then I have to roll for the guys who are still on the board. So I will start with... The well, at the end of the turn, we, we, yeah, we, yep. we rally. Okay. So, Scottish pikemen trying to rally. Uh, timely. Delayed, timely, yeah, delayed yep. rally. So, they will arrive next turn. Uh, no, they'll arrive now. Really? Because June has an ability, once during the camp phase, uh, turn the hourglass into a rally. Oh, so they rally. So, I do get them back instantly, but they will be coming back way back here. Which means you get a, a victory point. 
Ta-da! Thank you, John. <laughs> and now? The pikemen. Well, you know, she, uh, has, provincial motor, yeah. she has encouraged them. And so oh, they're on the delayed. Yeah. So but this time you can't use it. It's only one. Yes. One spot. But I'm, I'm glad I used it for the one that got me the victory point. Absolutely, yes. So I will have to keep a Ah! Uh, OK. Mm -hmm. Now we, we will see what, how many activations we have for this turn. Yeah. Oof. Just two. two. Oh. So I'll take my two from only here. Only two. And I'll move that back up into the active pile. And now we have to look at the War Council again. So these three cards disappear. Yeah. And we get three fresh ones. So the first one is convert a regular order into a charge. The second is uh, gain two experience or two... Oh, Legend. That? Legend. Tokens. Uh, and the last one is convert a regular order into a reactivation, convert a regular order into an interrupt, or convert XP into legend. So what do you choose? Mm, it's an interesting one. I think I'm going to grab the two experience points. Hmm, meaning you could level up. Yes, Joe. and I have the citizen who, whenever I activate him, will grant me an experience so I can keep the upkeep running. Okay, uh, I will choose the convert one regular activation with uh, a replay. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so it's me then. Yeah. I have to roll for these guys again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just so I don't forget, I have to make sure these do not flee the field. So, so cavalry? Yeah. Uh, they get uh, to they stay, stay where they are. Where they are. Uh, the two handed knights, uh, they rally towards me. So they'll come to here. Yeah. Then we have the impetuous knights uh, who flee towards the nearest edge of the board, which is this way, I think. Yes, it is. They'll go to there. Uh, then we have the crossbowmen. Yep. Uh, I assume, is that stay where they are? For the little hourglass? No, uh, it's like coming closer to you. Okay. Same as uh, the rally. Okay, so they will rally in this direction, going for that rally point, which actually works out pretty nicely for me. And then the last one is these guys, the regular knights. So I have to figure I out hope what they will flee. Be. Come Don't on. flee. Stay. Yes, no. they do flee. Ah, so they run into here. Yes. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. All right. So I have one, two, three. Hmm. One, two. I can't make it to them, which is a shame. So I think I need to focus on consolidating what I have. So uh, Joan and her little citizen friend will activate yeah. and go to here. Joan will also level up. And the citizen will gain me an XP, but I spend two of them to level her up. And now I have an interesting choice because Joan can level up to be good or Joan can level up you get this. to be yeah. uh, uh, unholy. Unholy. Holy or unholy? I think with the way my forces are at the minute, I'm better going for the holy version of June because uh, she ha her command ability becomes 3-2. Three, so three mm. units at two range, yes? And you're scattered a bit. So. I am a bit scattered, yes. And so I will start using that pretty, pretty quickly. So well, you could still do it. You haven't done her command, have you? No, I have not. So she can command now up to three units, two hexes away. Mm -hmm. Wow. So who is... So I think the command should come... One, two... Those are the Scottish pikemen. Yes. Which could be useful. Or, I tell you what, I'll order my peasants to move up to so here. So that's one unit. Second, Second unit. unit. Oh, no, sorry. There. Oh. They wouldn't move to there. They would move to here. Oh, yeah. Which well, is not helpful. No. So, yeah, they would move into there. So what I'll do is I'll just have them move into here. Closer. Okay. Closer, yes. Oh, and this is just one activation. Yep. So that's three, and there's Joan herself. Do you still have your, with Joan of Arc uh, at level two, do you still have the, uh, the, the reactivation thing? I do. That so you can do once, once per round. Per round, per when round. Joan is activated, you may play a replay from the common pool to an allied area, locate it within three. So that could be quite useful. But what's gonna happen now is from where she is, Joan is going to activate here, 
with him. So you won't get another XP because his is only once per turn. But what she'll do is she'll move into here and bring these guys back into line, which is my crossbowman, so giving me another victory point. Yeah. Uh, she will then take her replay activation and she will move forward to here with everybody. You Check. didn't use your, your command. Ah, least. thank you. I forgot about that. So let me take everybody back and I'll take the banner back. Uh, so for my command this time, I will order them to go one, two, and three. Yeah. Which I think is fine. Now I'll use my replay banner as a regular order and everybody will move up to here getting me another victory point. So I'm now on a total of three victory points, which is pretty good. Yes. Because that's half my forces brought back into line. I have my interrupt banner, but I think with the way things are looking, I want to save it. So I think I'll end it at that. This is looking pretty good. Okay. So now you can remove yeah, the I'll banners. So that's all my banners gone. Stingy on the amount of activations we have for that one, but you've got <laughs> your two. I've got my two, and the good thing is that I can replay the same area again if I want, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my elite unit, uh, units, which is the, the, the bowmen. I have four mm -hmm. of them here, so yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I need to be clever and grab the cards for the units I've brought back into line. Yeah, so I've got absolutely. my impetuous knights, I've got my crossbowmen. What I you still don't have are the mounted knights, uh, the 200 foot knights. I have the Scotsman down the back end. And the foot knights, yes. Okay, that's so it. That's yeah. three units still to go there, which is fine. So who are you okay. attacking? I'm going to attack Joan of Arc, of course. <laughs> well, she's in just two hexes uh, away, mm -hmm. so I'm going to attack her with all my forces, so mm -hmm. eight dice. Cool. I really want... How many hit points do you have? Uh, she currently has three. Oh, wow. Oh, not too bad. Actually, very good. It's incredible because my shields become uh, disrupts. Oof. Wow. So, you know, I've, I was thinking of using my reroll token, but I don't think I need it. Yeah. So you've got two pushes oh, and six Oof. disrupt. Oh. Okay. I, I can work with this. I can work with this. So uh, Joan herself gets two black dice. Which is very good. Yeah. The impetuous knights with her also gain a black dice. The crossbowmen gain a white dice. And the pikemen, the provincial militia, get a yellow dice. So I got five defense dice here. That's it's not too bad. Pretty beefy. And in fact, no, that's the citizen, not the apothecary, because the apothecary gets white dice. Let's see if we get shields everywhere. Oh. Okay, I will take that. Uh, so there are two shields there, which will allow me to knock out two of those. Uh, the rest are Green disordered, two. so they're nothing. Do you want to re-roll or do you want to save your re-roll? Honestly, I think I'm okay with this. You're okay with this? Yes. All right. So now I have to allocate first the disrupt. So I have four to allocate. Uh, four? Oh, well, you can allocate them. Four? Well, four left, yes. Uh, oh yeah, I only knocked out two. Damn. Yeah, I had six. Yeah. But you can, you can allocate them as you want. Yeah, so I'll... I will let you disrupt everything except for my crossbowmen. So I will allow one disrupt on these. Yeah. One on these. Yes. One on him. <laughs> and the citizen. And one wound on June. Okay, one wound on June. And then you get to push to, me yes. out of the way. Except if you don't want to be pushed with Joan in case you receive the wound. No, no, that's okay. You can push Joan. So I will push Joan. Where do I want to push her? Oh, I want to push her here. Okay. And I want to push them here. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Now... I'm going to interrupt. 
Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, good, because <laughs> now I could, I could replay, you know what I was going to do? Just load all into Joan. Yes, yeah. that's exactly what I would have done. So, which is why I'm, what I'm going to do is Joan is going to go to here. Yeah. And she is going to move to here. And she can still... Another victory point. Yes, another victory point. So that's pretty good for you. And Four. taking control of the oh, merchant, the merchant girl. girl. Oh, yes. Oh, which means... Oh, no, no, you haven't, no, you haven't activated uh, the area where the merchant girl is, so you don't get an intrigue point yet. No, but I could talk you, to her. You could talk to her if you wanted. Would it be worth it? Honestly, not really, because right now I can just throw her in front of Joan. True, true. <laughs> you could still use uh, Joan's command ability. Uh, yes, I can, and I will. Uh, it's up to two hexes. So yes, yes, you can move three three units up to two hexes from her. Mm -hmm. So could I move a unit and move a unit again? Oh, uh, yes. So yes. I, if, if I grab these guys, move them once. Oh, no, 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 because it's, it's all at the same time, yes. Exactly. So what I will do is... See, a lot of my good stuff is out of the way at the minute, so what I might do... I will move these guys back into range, and then I will move up. See, I don't really want to move anything else, because I want to activate all the peasants at the same time if I'm doing it. Well, you could activate all of three of them and move them here. Ah, uh, but I want to have my crossbowmen in range to actually just take You don't have to use, to, to use all of your command, you, you just... Yeah, but the, the way I'm laying it out, I can either bring all the peasants together, they're okay, they're not great, but I think those uh, crossbowmen that I have could be a bit better just for taking a little bit of a dig at you. Mm. So I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. So back to your activation after my, my shameless interrupt. Well, she uh, will have a little more defense, chance to, yes. to, to well, defense. Yes. This is a, a lot better where she's, she's sitting now, right here. Because now there's a, a rain of arrows coming at her. Exactly, which is why she just went, no, 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 please, don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, going to be Five, six, seven, eight. All right. And I still have my re-roll if necessary. Roll them. Not as good as last time. I don't know. You've still uh, got one, there. two, that's three disrupt mm -hmm. and three push. Yes. Uh, so, do I want to get more uh, and re-roll uh, the push and so that would be five dice. Mm -hmm. If I want to, how many she has? Two blacks to roll because I got the regular foot knights. So, you know, move. I'm going to use my re-roll. Mm -hmm. So, I lose it and I will re-roll all five dice here. Oh, you're going for it. Yeah, because I think this is the, this is the, the one opportunity to, to get her. Go and get it. That would be three victory points. Oh, not very good, one but it, it adds two more. Two more. Oh, okay. So there's five of them. Yes. So still there's at worth least it. three there or more because I still have to roll two black dice. So there's five at the minute. Because oh, three. Perfect. So, so you wow, have you're lucky. Left. So basically what happens is they become disordered. Disrupted? Yeah, disrupted, sorry. She, she becomes is. disrupted. And she she, she takes a wound. Yeah. So she's down to one wound. Yes. Only. Yeah. Ooh, still couldn't have her. Yes. I have a lot to roll for. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, they come back immediately. Yes, so my provincial militia are coming back. And now... <laughs> now I have five rolls to make on the Doom Dice. So who do you start with? Oh, I'm going to start with... The Impetuous Foot Knights. Ah, oh, they dead! Die. Oh, so this is good to, for me because I get one Intrigue yep. and one Experience. Yep, and pass one, one Victory Point because they're dead. And one victory point. Yes. Okay, regular foot knights. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> regular foot knights go. So same, same again? Yeah. So two intrigue now. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, one victory. 
two victories. So now I'm back to two victories and uh, one, one another experience, please. Yes, sir. I'll give you a couple of these just because you'll probably <laughs> need them soon enough. I'll put them within reach. Okay. All right, uh, provincial militia. I can uh, actually make them come back right now because of Joan's ability. You can if you want. Yeah. And I've okay. got all three of them here. Yeah. Because that, that could be useful as well. Oh, yeah, now Joan may be about to yeah. pull back and go, no, 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 not today. And now what uh, happens with the... Uh, merchant girl first. She rallies. Returns, which is nice. So she's down here now. Uh, then the last one is the... Citizen. citizen. He's Good dead. <laughs> well, he, he doesn't, doesn't give nothing. me anything, no. He's just gone. That's okay. All right, so new round, new card, see how many activations we're going to get. Three. Three, okay. I'll grab my three here. And then new War Council cards. So we'll take those out. So the first one... Well, you know what? I'm going to use my two Intrigue to get oh. a... Are you sure you want to do that right this second? Because I'm flipping these. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> just, just in case there's something You're tactical right. there you want. You're right. So the first one is a replay card. So you can get that banner. The other one is allowing you to convert Legend for different uh, orders. And the last one is allowing you to remove a wound or to take a charge. Oh, so you choose first. Yeah, and I think I know exactly what I'm going to choose. <laughs> Joan of Arc is going heal to heal, <laughs> heal myself. I also need to pay my one experience. Yes, so you remain at level two. Yes. Okay. Because well, otherwise I would go to level one and die. Now I have plenty of different options because uh, the Intrigue Intrigue tokens can be used as either experience or uh, legend or as intrigue. Mm -hmm. uh, I will use them uh, as intrigue to, to get the raid. So okay. I get one raid. Ah, so you're getting an interrupt. An interrupt. And okay. then I need to choose one of these yes. uh, and I will get the replay. Ah, so I have plenty go. of things to do this turn. Ooh. Okay. Oh. And I get to interrupt. So you will. Yeah. yeah. Well, the first order I'm going to play out, Joan of Arc, moves out of range. Oh, <laughs> that's nasty. Would you like to interrupt? Uh. Actually, before I end that, she's going to take her replay and use it within three. So for one, two, three, she oh. use it on them. And because of that, I actually gain an intrigue point because the merchant girl is activating. Oh, <laughs> what I'm, a combo. <laughs> I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky. So, so now you can, you, can, you can use it on your cards if you want. Exactly, and I am going to in a second, watch this. So they're all gonna move up here. And then I'm going to play that intrigue to counterattack to gain another replay. But don't don't forget, this is is it one per turn or one per round that you can do that? One per turn. Her. I mean Jones. Oh, Jones? Oh it's uh, once per round for her. Which means you won't be able to do that anymore. That's fine because okay. it's at a critical moment where I've got myself yeah. out of range, but now I really need to push my forces back up. So by playing this here, again the intrigue here, I then play the intrigue on counterattack to gain another one. <sighs> <laughs> Which allows me to move them one, one. You want, yeah, you want protection for Joan. I just, I need to get those forces back into the fight. Would you like to interrupt? Actually, I am going to interrupt. Well, how many? You have two. Two more. Two more. Yeah. I'm, I've managed to squeeze five orders out this round. Wow. Yes. <laughs> well, just like me, but not the same way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no, I'm not going to interrupt. Okay. So because I can't shoot at her. You know, yeah. she's my main target. Yeah. What are the... Oh, sorry. We forgot to roll. Oh, yeah. The forces Again. The always, always. Easy done. Always Easy again. done. Yeah. Cavalry. Cavalry. Are rallying back. So they would move back to here. Yes. Then it's the two-handed uh, knights. Yes. They, uh, they, they are rallying also. Rally also. So just on the, on the, on the tree. Yeah. yeah, so they'll move into the tree here, which is excellent, because that puts them out of range of you. That's the only the last two ones, right? Yes, because yeah. I currently have four victory points. And I have currently f two victory points. Yes. So which this is, is why I want to kill Joan of Arc. Which is why I need to be a little bit cunning here. So 
My next order. And June of Arc, for those who don't know, uh, has the tough ability, mm -hmm. which means if I kill her in uh, combat, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I she, get to roll a black die. And if you get shield. a shield, she's not dead. But if she's in the uh, infirmary and yeah. you, you roll a... a uh, Death's head. A, yeah, you're, good. you're done. Last chance for you to interrupt before I do something else. Okay, that's a good call. One, okay, I have two hexes of, this is nothing at range. Are you fleeing? Where are you going? Okay. Consolidating. Well, oh, I could reach you here. One, two, three. You know, she's even out of range from, from them. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I could. Ah, yeah, well, I will interrupt because uh, I, I want uh, the opportunity to, to get them mm -hmm. before uh, before because they are very very tough. I don't want you to you to have them. So I will interrupt here, mm -hmm. okay. and I will target uh, uh, the mounted knights. Okay, they get one black die in defense. So I roll four yellow dice mm -hmm. and hope I will get something interesting. Nothing mm -hmm. really. One disrupt and one push. Mm -hmm. So if you don't roll this, uh, yeah, they'll be disrupted off the table. But let's see, shield. Oh no. no! Okay, so you can't push them though. I will push them closer to me. I thought you might. All right, now, uh, Leo, I'm going to point this out just because I think it would be mean otherwise. Those guys were not ones I was worried about. The ones I was worried about was these. Because you had an interrupt, you could shoot and kill those. But now I've got two orders left where I'm out of range. <sighs> so I can shoot you once and then move myself out of the way. Well, what is your range with them? Uh, it's two, I believe, because they are No, crossbow. it's just one. It's oh, one. one. Damn. Yes. Okay, in that case, what I will do is I'll activate Joan. She will move one. She will order them to here. And then she will... These guys are still fleeing, aren't they? Yes. Uh, what she'll do is she will order the other peasants one. Here two to here yep. then she will use her last one to move into here with her friends and then her orders she will order these guys one two oh. actually no point because that just puts them in the line of fire well which line of fire just this one just that one yeah and I don't want to really do that I don't want to give you free shots so one two three yeah Joan's still out of the way you don't use your um, your command, then? I would use my command. These peasants don't matter because they gain you nothing. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing. I believe that is how I'm going to leave my turn. Well, you have regrouped. <laughs> All right, let's tidy this up. I think squeezing five orders out of that was a bit of a big one for me. Yeah. So I'll put everything into its proper pal. And it's yours, and I have left you very little. Yep. Uh, and yes, they are out of range. So I'm going to have to move away. So I'm going to activate here. Mm -hmm. So the archers are going to move here. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the well takes one, so that's five. Uh, so I'll move the, the blacksmith with me. Does he do anything interesting? Well, only when he's with peasants, so he would be useful for you. Ah, it get, they gave, well, uh, they get uh, retaliation and uh, plus one yellow dice in attack. Ah, so interesting. he gives them, them weapons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and they will, I'm going to use... So now I'm in a, in a closer hex, so I'm going to, to put stakes uh, around them. Mm -hmm. You know, I have four stakes, I haven't used them, so I will, I will protect myself with stakes. So this is my first action. You don't have any interrupt. I don't I need do to not. ask you. Uh, then I will, I will activate them here. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Would you like to shoot? I will, I will shoot at Joan, of course. Now she's uh, going for the big money. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's Joan with the crossbowman. So it's one white, one black for her. 
Hmm. Ooh, oh, very good. Yeah, well, uh, just just results. So everything is results. So that's pretty, pretty tough. And you've got five out of actions there. Yes. I'm glad I healed Joan. Yes, you are. So I need two shields here, or Joan's getting knocked out. Let's see. Oh, nothing. Do you want to re-roll, oh. or do you want to save your re-roll for... I honestly needed two there, which is the problem. Because mm, yeah. as it stands, there's five, and there's only four folks in here. So I could re-roll the black, hoping to get a shield on it, so that Joan just... Oh, you could re-roll both of them. I could re-roll both? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, or you want to save it for... Because right now, one, two, three, four, so she would get two wounds, yeah. meaning she would go, she yeah. would be disrupted. Well, she would get two disrupts. Yeah. Um, I'm going to risk it. I will re-roll both. Okay. Just to see if I can save her and keep her on the battlefield. Oh, oh roll it in. Yeah, uh, you got one. I got one. So she's still there, but she does take another wound. The other units here are, are all, all disrupted. Peasants and then, not worried and about. then, she will receive uh, push one push, only one push. Yeah. So, where would you like it? Uh, <laughs> I will. Ah. Oh. oh, you sneaky, sneaky man! And I have a replay. Yeah, you have a replay, and she's all on her lonesome. Yes. I thought I had been clever there. <laughs> well. Maybe you should have kept your re-roll for the... Uh, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Well, you still have more victory points than I do, but Joan might leave, this yeah, is, yeah, which yeah. has been my main focus since the beginning. Uh, I will replay, mm -hmm. and I won't take any risk. Uh, All the end to Joan? Well, maybe oh, not. Oh, hello, hang on. She what? should have had two black dice. Oh. No. Well, uh, you I could have re-rolled. Re oh. Yes, so... She's got one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, we had to wreck on that one. Well, in that case, <laughs> I will focus everything on her. Yeah. So I will double and we'll do another... Yeah, so she has two black dice. dice. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Oh, not a good roll. Not really a good roll at good all. Roll. So, so that's one disordered and two pushes. Oh, you see? And you used your reroll. I want my reroll. <laughs> well, shield. I'll take out the disorder and you get to push her. So, where to? I will push her um, here. Oh, wait. She was here? Uh huh. One, two, three. Yeah, I will push her here. But it's not finished. <laughs> you know, I have my yeah, 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 my my archers there on the hill. Yeah, uh, and you know, Leo, I, I I think you chose the wrong thing for this. I think you should have done like Leonidas in the three hundred because right now she's fighting in the shade. <laughs> she is. <laughs> All right, one, two, dice. three. So that's four more dice. Yep. Oh, can she hang on? Can she hang on? So, oh, she's oh, she has two hit points left. She Come does. on. Oh, wow. no, not that yeah. good. One push and two fleas. So and two she will push. definitely get one, one, one disrupt and two push. But can I save it? I can. Oh, God. So no damage. You do get to push her around a little more, though. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> My word. All right. I think I've played everything. <laughs> I think you have two. Uh, so I'm still down to two victory points, and yeah. you are you have four. Four, yeah, but Joan is just really at risk there. Yeah, maybe I should have focused on these guys, and just because they gave me victory points, but... Maybe. We'll see. So at the end of the round, we're going to, to roll for... Yep, I have to roll for all three of mine. So... Who do you start with? Crossbowman. Who might pass you a victory point if they die. Crossbowman? Yeah. Oh, oh they, they rally. rally. Whew. 
There you go, boys. Uh, the peasants, I'm last worried about. Peasants, one yeah. dead. Second, just uh, stays there. Okay, before I forget this time, roll for these. Yeah. So for the knights, they rally. Uh, Which means they get closer to you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then for the two handed knights, uh, they also rally. Oh, that's good. So they'll come to here. Yeah. Which is great. Now, it has to be Joan who rallies them, even though they're in a zone with friendlies. Let's see how many activations we get here. Three. <laughs> right. Two, three. And then let's have a look at what the War Council gives us. Hopefully nothing good for you. <laughs> no, I, no, I hope all your dreams and hopes fail. Uh oh, there's an interrupt. Uh, discard and a conversion. So we can convert into a, one into a replay. Uh, we convert one into a reaction. Uh, get a reaction. Convert experience into uh, what you call it? The other one? Uh, legend. Legend. Token. And we can gain either two XP or two legend. All right, this is a tough one for me because if I, I have no XP right now and at the end of this, if I don't have experience, Joan levels down. <laughs> Which means she would be down to one hit point? Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm kind of forced to it. I'm going to grab the two experience just so I can keep Joan at her back. But you need to discard one card. Oh, damn. And I don't have any. No. So she will level down this turn. In that case, I have to grab that interrupt. Yeah. Because it, it might save me to be able to yeah. just interrupt, activate, run away. You could have, you know, you could have had some, uh, you know, the merchant girls gives you intrigue that can also be experienced, but you chose to use, yeah. So. Yeah, it was, it was to get that bit of a push on. Yeah. And I mean, so, like, I, I may actually end up doing that this round again. So now I also have to choose and, you know, I'm tempted, well, between this and this, because, well, of course, an interruption means that I could prevent Joan from coming back with, uh, with her guys. Mm -hmm. Or I could use, I could change uh, one normal activation to replay so that I, during my turn, I can play twice More with damage, them. More damage, yeah. But I will, def I will go with the interruption because I want to take care of Joan. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hmm. So I think I can save Joan here. Uh, however, right now she levels down. So she she's down to one, one hit point. One hit point, and her command is back to one one. Yeah. So she's she's isolated. <laughs> Not quite. Watch this. So first activation is Joan. Yeah. She will move for one. She will gain her replay from her ability for the round. And then I can activate someone within three hexes without you having a chance to interrupt. So one, two, three. So I activate here. No, no, you don't have to go up. To, oh, yeah, up to three. Yes, yes. Yep. Yes. And then they will go uh, from where they are to here. Three. And the merchant girl. Oh, then. no, no, no. Well, you leave this. Oh, here. yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, but the Merchant Girl gives you... Intrigue. And you know you can replace Intrigue with uh, whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to spend it to get another... Oh, no. You can, no, once you play an Intrigue, it's gone. You oh, know, You I leave see. it here. So you get, you get an Intrigue. Ah, okay. You can, you can replace this Intrigue by either one Experience or one uh, Legend. Okay. Or you could use it uh, on the ones you haven't used. Every time you use it, it's only once... Uh -huh. Per game. All right. Uh, hmm. Is there anything interesting with what you can do here? Yes. I will play reinforcements, roll three black dice to gain experience. Oh, okay. So if I'm lucky, I'll get at least two. Level Joan up, get her that extra hit point back. I get one. One experience? Damn it. Still. Well, that's one experience. Would you like to interrupt? 
Yes, I do. I would. <laughs> you want to shift you? <laughs> of course, and they are going to focus on Joan of Arc. You know, it's, she's really tough. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I don't know how many arrows I, I've I sent at you. Like I said, she's fighting Two, in the shield. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. But now she's down to one, so... You can easily black dice, yeah. I think Just I can have her it. now. Oh. Let me roll this one. Okay, oh, pff, two, sh two, two interrupt, two disrupt and two push. Yeah, so even if she saves one of them, she's still knocked out. So she is now from here to the infirmary. To the infirmary. Yeah. Ow. <sighs> I feel better. <laughs> How many Without points? her on the field, I feel better. Mm. You're still only on two victory points, yes? Still on two victory points. If okay. she's if she dies, mm -hmm. then I, I will be at five victory points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. So now you can you can do your normal. Uh... Yes, I can do my normal stuff. So from where I am, I will play one into here. Yeah. And these four are going to continue the retreat. Oh really? Because well, there's no point in giving you victory points. Oh, you could get victory points by. Being oh, here? I could, but I'm still winning. I have to make you work for it now. Because if Joan survives here and comes back, that's yes. game All over, right. really. Because you, you really have to start coming after me now. So one, I think, two, where can I make someone... Okay, one here, here, all right, yeah. with these. I'm honestly not too worried about the peasants. Did we, did we, did we roll them? Yes, we did. We right? did. Yes, we did. So. Uh, so I'll play into this zone. Everybody... Oh, and I forgot to bring... The merchant girl with me. So everybody's moving into this one. This is now where I would need the mounted bowman. <laughs> to get I can't mount, position. I can't go back on, on oh, horse. Oh, so you can only dismount once? Yes. Ah, yes. that's a shame. And I will, I will save my reaction because it could be very useful. All right. So you can shoot down my other guys and go for the draw because I've still got some guys in range. So I've got the two-handed foot knights here and the cavalry here. Yeah. Well, but it's risky because you could also rally them. Well, if I rally them and they move back, again, that's you having to chase us down. So I think this this is less attacking the village, more of a, a controlled withdrawal for Joan of Arc to, to resettle her troops and get ready for the real attack. Or well, I could move them here and then uh, get, get you here. Yeah. Now, your interrupt was it cleared at the end of my turn, yeah? Or would it stay there? Oh, it doesn't stay. Okay. The interrupt doesn't stay. Cool. All right. Uh, so either, as you said, I focus on them, but I have one chance out of three that they will give me victory points. Mm -hmm. Or I focus on them because they will... Okay, I think it's... Well, don't forget, there's two of these are provincial militia. And he's the only one worth points. And then my crossbowmen are also worth points. Again, it's a bit of a, a mad scrabble on my side, just trying to get things out of the way. Yeah. Tough choices? Tough choices, but... Oh! And one, two, three. Okay, well... You're moving away, so I will, I will go... I will move forward one. So they move, they all move here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this should have been. Yeah. And the blacksmith comes with. Yes. Cool. Then they will move again closer. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I could be attacked. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it was kind of my goal to draw you out a little bit. But all I have there is a set of peasants. <laughs> I doubt if they're doing much. Well, oh yeah, yeah, they haven't been rallied. No, 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 the, these guys are, are still unrallied. Yeah. Yeah, the peasants won't do too much, but what do they have in attack, the peasants? Uh, peasants only have a white dice. Oh, Although yeah. I may reroll one uh, dice if peasant militia is it's in a field area. Ah, so it would have to be a field. 
mm. which was the field. It's, uh, ah, these are the fields where they like to fight. Now, do I put the stakes here, or do I want to be able to move uh, closer? If you if you go to this one, where I can't reach you. Um. Okay, I will put the stakes. One stake here. Mm -hmm. Just one, and I will leave one last stake just in case I need it. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, my last activation will be here, mm -hmm. and I will attack here. Okay. Oh, and you're in a forest. You can reroll one dice. Yes. Okay. So that is eight dice to me. Yellow dice and one yellow dice. Two white, one yellow. Go ahead. Mm. Not, Not very great. good. Not great. Two, two disrupt, two push. Uh -huh. So I have two white and one yellow. Uh, and I get one shield. So there's one disrupt there. Uh, I will let that just be my regular provincial militia. So they will go to the infirmary. Oh, they don't give me anything, right? They don't. Okay. And, and then, then two push. Yeah, pushes. So who, who is pushed? Pushes. I'm actually going to let you push the Scots and the Provincial Militia, wherever you like. Oh, also, I should take yeah, 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 my other should. activations away. Um, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping the, the Merchant Girl where she is, because I think it could be useful. Yeah. Okay, so one will go here. Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. Yeah, I can get them. Hmm. Very interesting. So, Justin, this is a very important role. Yeah. I mean, so who do you start with? I'm going to start with the peasants. <laughs> Just because I've seen this happen before, where I've rolled for Joan first and died because of a crappy roll. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh>, call it. <laughs> Dead peasants. <laughs> Dead peasant doesn't give me anything. Nope. So who's uh, next? Provincial militia are Stay staying there. And Joan, Joan, come on, die! Come on, don't! Oh, she no! Rallies. No! Rallies with one point. Oh, oh. okay. <sighs>the 200 foot knights yeah well oh move towards the nearest table edge this is okay because from where they are one two three four no one, it has to be one of these two, right oh right yeah yeah so it will be over this way. one two three four or one two three four yeah, yeah yeah so they're going this way this is still okay this is still okay all right how many actions are we getting this round we get three three okay three banners for the round and then the war council will give us some lovely lovely stuff so we get uh gain two cards uh, uh, cards plus a legend and discard card one, one. Oh. interesting we get uh some conversions so you can change an order for Experi three experience three experience or three, three legends legend. and the last one is uh, i'll actually pick this one up to read it uh, move one of your rally points and rally one allied unit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a charge token. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are you going to choose? <laughs> um, this is going to be hilarious. Now, if I lose my rally point, do I lose the game? No. Or, or do I just lose my rally point? Well, how do you mean, what do you mean losing your rally point? You can't lose your rally point. Well, if, if you move into my rally point and I have no one there. Yeah, there's then a, that a means you, you can't rally there. So if you rally, you will stay in the, in the delayed. In the, oh, yeah. OK. All right. But you can only move your rally point to a free or a allied area. Yeah. So <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, you want to put it here. Oh. And I rally a unit there. Well, <laughs> yes, but it has to be at the end of the turn that you, so if you want to score points, it's very dangerous. But oh, it is. 
But uh, actually, hang on. Sorry, I'll do you one better. So I'll do it here. And then I'll move them inside the house. <laughs> well, not now. Well, it's my turn. Oh, yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. You could, you could do that. Well, so that's what I'm going for. So first, okay, <laughs> that was unexpected. I'm, you know, I was not expecting that at all. Well, that is okay. So I have to choose what I get. Yeah. I think hmm. my my key component of this is that's worth two victory points to me, right? So you now have to decide: do you want to deny me two victory points by devoting resources to that, or do you want to continue to try and kill Joan? It's interesting. Tactical dilemmas. I'm going to go for the the two two cards plus the legend. Two cards, sir. And a legend. Uh, Which you have over yes, there. Yes, I have. And then I will... Do I have to discard one? Yes, you do. So... Okay, I'll, dis I'll discard this one. Okay. All right, so my first order. Uh, obviously, it's going to be right here. So we take this they away. Move inside the house which should make them reasonably tanky. Well, you know, I, I could still get in, you but can. it will take me time. Yep, and, and resources. If I attack you from outside, you get one black dice mm -hmm. in defense. Exactly. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place an order here. Oh no, she's alone. She's, she's Oh yes. No, she's alone. So she's she become, is actually yeah. She's neutral. become neutral again. Not for long. So I will have Joan move to here with the archers and we'll take her up again. <laughs> okay, so the merchant girl is French again. Yes, uh, I will then play Joan's command to move one unit of the pikemen, the Scottish pikemen, in with us for yeah. better defense in the forest, which I think is the best way to play this right now. Uh, then for Joan's ability, she gets her replay ability within three. Is there anyone I really want to do it on? Um, you know what? Just for giggles, I'll do it on the peasants and I'll have them attack you across the spikes. <laughs> and you know, you, you could also talk to the merchant girl if you wanted. You could have a discussion with her. Yeah, why not? We'll do that as well. Did she give you a, an intrigue? Uh, uh, did you activate her? No, because I moved in. She oh. doesn't activate. Okay, well, but maybe you, you want to do that after you've used her uh, intrigue thing. Yeah, I still okay. have orders. So what, what do you want to do? Uh, so before playing Joan's ability, I will talk to the merchant girl. Oh, no. What I suggest is mm -hmm. if, you, if you want, you could, you could do that. But if you do that, mm -hmm. she will be gone. Uh, I see. And if so I activate in there again... If you activate her... You could get, get her intrigue and then talk, you know? Yeah, that's what I'll do. So we'll finish up at that. Joan will trigger her ability yep. to activate the peasants who are going to attack your archers. Yeah. So because example. you attack me and I'm behind the stake, mm -hmm. I get one, uh, one white dice mm -hmm. per unit of archers. So that's oh, right. four more dice. So th that's I mean a little pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that then. OK. <laughs> um, this is why I put the stake here. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do, because they're worthless, I'll activate here and have these guys move across here. And then uh, you have no interrupts. So the next one I will activate in here with Joan and her friends. Uh, I will gain the merchant girl's point. Yes, so one intrigue point. And I'll just hang it on can to be, that. It can become uh, experience or legend if you want, mm -hmm. or it can be an intrigue that you can play. You've played two intrigues yet. Yeah. Uh, well, so you, you see, still have one. It doesn't really help me because it's uh, rally all allied destroyed or disrupted peasants. Well, for so now, you don't that have that. that my dead peasants come back to life because it's destroyed and disrupted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That could be useful. That could be very useful. But anyway, uh, I think that's okay. So now I will just talk to her. We're not moving. We're not doing anything. We're in the forest. We're playing Robin Hood and his Merry Men. So let's talk to the... To the, the merchant? Yes. Okay. So 
This is interesting because this is the first time we use that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will just take the, the, the number one level discussions cards. Uh, so you have level twos and level ones. Uh, so, so these? Yeah, these. You shuffle them. Mm -hmm. And I'll look at you. You look at me. And then you stop. And then you take the card from the bottom. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these the are other like, yeah. ones, yes, they go back here. Okay. And now you have, a different, you have different questions. So you have neutral questions, and then you have uh, holy questions and, and, and unholy. Uh, are you holy or unholy, or are you... I had went holy whenever I leveled up, but I did level down. So me? you don't have it anymore. So you okay. can only choose among the first two ones. Okay. And if there is a red uh, question, uh -huh. that means it's a risky question, but it can, uh, re it can be rewarding. You can get more, but it's risky. So that means you have a risk of, of having something bad happen. Why would I not take the risk on this? What's the worst that could happen? She pulls out a butter knife? <laughs> um, so you, okay, what, I'll what, ask what? the risky one. So this is question B. If you are from around here, can you show me where is the cabin of which of the witch from the nearby woods? Oh, oh no, she might turn into a witch. Well, you're in a wood, you know. Yeah. Okay, so that's question B. Yes. This witch is my mother. I will bring you her. <laughs> your bloody corpse. <laughs> I will bring her your bloody corpse. So oh, crap. It's, 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 it's a bad thing. So you test. Uh, you test with a yellow dice. Uh -huh. And if, if it's a blank result, you will trade your reroll token for three other tokens. Or, well, well let's see what happens. Uh, so it's uh, disordered. Okay. It's not a blank result. Trade your reroll token. It's not a blank result. Else, your opponent replaces the merchant girl with a witch and places her in an enemy area under their control. <laughs> <laughs> so the merchant girl goes away, and we get the witch turning up. OK, there she is. <laughs> this is the witch. So uh, where am I going to put her? Well, you have to put your red uh, base on it, because she is friendly with you. Yes, yes. So you know. If you had rolled a blank, it would yeah. have been very good, but you didn't roll a blank. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it was what? You, you would have mm. traded your reroll token for three other tokens, or retrieve your reroll tokens and gain oh. one, uh, one uh, legend. Oh, that you would, would have been useful. You would, yeah, so that would have been really good. Yeah. But that instead, token you insulted so my good. mother. So she's a witch, and she will uh, claim your bloody How did I insult corpse. her when she's actually a witch? So <laughs> she's back, and uh, I have to put her in a... In a uh, where do I have to put her? Uh, uh, in one of your enemy zones. In enemy er area under my control. So yeah. I think when one, two, three, four, five... I don't oh, no. think she can Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, she does. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the witch can be just here. So I will, put I will, on. I will put the base, and well, she has the dodge ability, mm -hmm. which is good. Uh, which means, if I get when I roll my my yellow dice in defense, if I get a blank, uh -huh. I can move her before you allocate ah. your damage. So she completely dodges, and at the start of my turn, I will draw one legend card. Ah, oh, thankfully, there's only one turn left. I'm happy I saved that conversation right to the end. <laughs> So I will have this for next turn. I will have uh, yes. an, another card, and I have one legend token, so that mm -hmm. could be useful. All right, uh, I'm going to save my last interrupt. Okay. Which is super good for me right now. And now it's a resource game for you. How much can you squeeze out of your turn? Uh, start of your turn, you will get your... Well, your you have to remove your banners. Oh, yes, sorry. Okay, and this. Also. Yeah, well, let's get rid of all of these. Okay, so now this is a tough decision, tough choice, yeah. because uh, if I leave you here... That's two victory points. That's two victory points. Yep, so suddenly those provincial militia who are worth nothing... So you, you go from four to six. Six, yes. Which is really bad. Yeah, and even if you kill Joan, that only brings you to five, so you not only either need to kill Joan, but also one of the other units. Uh, and then it's a draw. Well, for sure, I'm going to uh, to to attack Joan for okay. sure, but I don't have any replay, so I can only do that once. Mm -hmm. So I will start by doing this. Uh -huh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh -huh. Or you know, I could roll on these, but there's only one chance out of three that I, it will score me points. So I would rather focus on on Joan of Arc. Uh -huh. 
Yes, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. That's four disrupt and three push. Okay, so I have my Scotsman. I have my regular provincial militia who are yellow. So yellow, yellow. Well, no, you have black. you have crossbowmen. Oh, crossbowmen. Apologies. Who are actually a white. So it's a black, it's a yellow, and a white. And Joan, does, what does she have? A black? Just one black. Oh, and you and can re-roll re one dice because you're forest. in a forest. Uh, I oh. re-roll the white. Wow. Okay. Two shields. So That's I knock out two of those. Yeah, okay. So two of my disrupt. You still get two disrupt and three push. Yep. So who so do you, how do you allocate them? Uh, disrupt and disrupt. So they will go to the infirmary. Uh, one of these is actually worth a point to me, which is unfortunate. And you get to push Joan somewhere you like. No, I'm going to push her closer. There, okay. Or wait, maybe even here. Here is better. Okay. She's further right. to, your, to the others. And what does this do for me? It's only taking one space. Okay, so there's no cover or anything from no. that. Okay, uh, you have two left. Do you want to interrupt? I think I have to. So I will interrupt, and I will interrupt with Joan, who... Aha! Now, I can level up at any time. Can I do it during an interrupt? Yes, you can You can level up only when you uh, activate her. She's so leveling up. Yeah. Oh, you have two experience? I had one experience and one intrigue. How did you get this experience? Uh, I got it a while back. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Definitely then, I then got it, can. honestly. I'm not yeah. cheating you, Leo, I swear. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know. It's fine. I agree. Uh, I, I, I trust uh, you. It was this where I was rolling. Oh, yeah, that's right. Got one. that's right. So that will allow me to level up Joan. Oh, that's and bad. Give her ah. an extra defense dice and that. And she can also move into the forest. Are you sure you want to level her up now? Yes, because, because you're about to attack her and I don't want her knocked out right how now. How can I attack her? Oh, yeah, you can't attack. Sorry, there's no point in that. So I will move her, but I will not level her up. I yeah. will save those. You, you have to save that for later. But now yeah, I know you can her. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will think about it. Yeah, but I yes, because, because otherwise you, you would no have replay. to pay, uh, and you're not sure you'll have a, a, an yeah. experience. So yeah, but I it's forgot not the you right no time to. There. Yeah, you know I don't have any replay, so I can't attack her anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing I have to focus is these guys. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I will activate everybody here, uh -huh. so they they get here. Uh -huh. So, but you know, I don't have like a lot of firepower with them. It's crazy. I just, you know, I have, I just have the pike man. This is ridiculous. And then the witch get, gives me an extra yellow dice. So that's only two dice. Uh, the pavisier or, or defending uh, troops. Oh, that's really bad. So, but I will get them later. Uh, I will activate uh, these guys instead, who okay. are much tougher. They will go here. Mm -hmm. These are my sergeant at arms and heavy sergeant at arms. The heavy sergeant at arms are the, the black ones. Uh, and then I will move them again, just to surround you, to surround your house. Okay. And that'll end your turn then, yeah? That ends my turn. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is, I can't actually deploy now because Leo is in my rally point. Yes. So that's a little bit painful for me, but it's okay. You still have to roll, because if you rally, you will be in the wait in the... Uh, the waiting area, And yes. then if you're destroyed, that I can score points. But yes, yes. That's, yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's the risk you decided to take. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can, yeah, I will take yeah, yeah, them yeah. Uh, away. Sorry, uh, right now I'm number crunching inside my head, trying to win the game. <laughs> oh, and this okay. has to be removed so. as well. So at the end of the turn, we now roll for... Yep. Uh, so who do you start with? Uh, start with the Scots. Actually, the Scots and these guys are worth a point because they're not provincial. Oh, so you could have two points nice. here if I roll bad. Yes, yes. Please roll bad. So Please. for the Scots, they're oh. fine. They rally. But so they move into yeah. the waiting area. Yeah. And then the crossbowmen, 
They stay, they stay there. Whew. Now to roll for what's on the table. So I've got my cavalry. Yeah. What are they doing? Stay. Uh, oh, no, no, no. They get closer to the... Uh, to yeah. the so they'll yeah, move to, to here. To the closer edge. Yeah. This is fine. And then for my other guys, my two-handed weapon uh, knights, they will oh. rally closer to me. Which is good for you. This is excellent. Now we have to find out how many activations we're getting for the last round. So we get two. only two. Oh, it's going to be a short Oof. finish. I mean, uh, except if we get something from the War Council. Yeah. So I'm hoping for a nice quiet round from them. Remove a wound. Oh. Could be good. Convert an order into three experience or three legend. Or you can gain two ca legend cards and a legend coin and discard one. Okay, at the beginning of this of my turn, I draw one uh, legend card. So please give it. There you go, so sir. So maybe, yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I am going to heal Joan from the cards here. Or <laughs> okay. This one. What about yourself? There's nothing that's really getting you a lot of activations. Well, still one, the charge yeah, token. Yeah, you can get the charge token. I will definitely take that because it's going to be important. Even if I can't charge, I will use it as a normal activation. Mm -hmm. So you have no interrupts, so I won't need to ask you. No. Okay, so what's going to happen is, first off, Joan is going to move. Uh, she is then going to order these pikemen to move into here. Uh, I also, actually I should level her up first before doing that. Yep. So she'll level up to the holy side. Uh, yeah, because you've leveled down, well you, you've, you've gone down, you um, wouldn't be able, because you've been on the holy side, you wouldn't be able to level up to the unholy side. Yep. Once so you've done it, you have to go back to where you yep. were at the first time. So she's back to being holy. Yes. So her first order is to bring those guys into there, and this has a range of two on it now, so she will place an order onto these gentlemen here. And one, two, unfortunately they're out of range, which is fine. Uh, she will then get her second order to go to here, getting me another vector point and bringing these guys back in line. Oh. Her next order brings the peasants back with her and then she will use her ability to get her once per round reactivation and she will activate here and they will all move across to here. Okay. So again there's a nice defensive lineup around Joan here. So I've got three black dice and one yellow dice for her defense. So that's pretty beefy. So these, if they can't rally mm -hmm. at the end of the game, they will give me one point each, right? Yes. So I will be to four if I'm I... I'm on five. You're on five. <laughs> You're on I got five. The, I got the two-handed knife back there. So I need an extra point. Uh-huh. So I could try... Oh, yeah. I could get it here. You could. You could. It's up to you, sir. I mean, but the, if, the if, knights if, have a black dice in defense. They're pretty good. Or what do I get here? She's got. Uh, she's not wounded at all. She has one wound, nope. doesn't she? No, nope. I healed her with this. Card oh, she's got here. three. Yes. Three points. It's it's why I thought if I heal, I level. I've got everybody bunched in around her for the biggest defense and I can get. And then you you have those here as well, which are worth two points. So it's as again, I'm I'm putting as much pressure on you as I can to really make you work for those resources. So, so potentially, I'm at four with these two. Mm -hmm. Anyone that I go, that go here will bring also me victory points. Mm -hmm. So these don't bring victory points, but I, I yep. prevent you from uh, scoring, two. scoring two. Yep. These could potentially give me one. Mm -hmm. And then these... Uh, so the only thing that's worth anything here is the two-handed knights. And Joan, of course. And Joan, but Joan, but she she's has got super three. tough now. Yeah. She's totally buffed up. Okay. And it, it's kind of why I brought the provincial militia and the uh, 
the other guys together with them to give them a little bit of, you know, here are the, well, the cannon fodder in front. My only chance is to attack you here without entering the house. If I enter the house, you, you don't have your black dice in defense, but mm -hmm. that costs me one activation and only have three. Mm -hmm. So I will attack here, I will attack with here, and then with, with them, I will attack here. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two, yeah, one, two, three. So it's, one, two. it's all on the dice? Yeah, it's all on the dice. Okay. Where would you like to start? I'll start uh, with uh, Joan. Okay. So eight dice into Joan and her <laughs> merry friends. Eight yellows. Oof. This is the most important roll uh, for me mm -hmm. uh, of this game, because mm -hmm. if I roll poorly, then you're likely to win. If I roll good, I've had it. Ooh. Uh, no, 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 no. It's only two push and three. Uh, well, two, sorry, two disrupt and three push. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get one yellow die for my provincials. I get two black dice for Joan and one black dice for my two handed knights. Oh, that's Glad tough. I got them. Glad I got them when I did. Uh, oh, only one only shield. shield. Only the one. Okay, so you still have one, one disrupt. Which one is disrupted? Peasants, <laughs> because they do nothing. <laughs> but then I can there. push you. You can push two of my units. Now, do I choose who you're pushing? You, you choose who, who, you, who I push. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three. So you're going to push these two. Oh, you got to remove these. Oh, yes. So, yeah, you can push these two. Of course. Do they bring any points? Only one of them can bring you a point, which is this group here. Actually, I'll leave these guys here and you can push Joan and them, because Joan's a lot tougher than they are. So I'll give you another shot at her if you want with the archers. It's tough. Yeah, because if I push, if I move them here, which I will do, it gives me the op the possibility to shoot at her from here mm -hmm. because they are in range now. Yeah, although I would recommend not putting these guys beside her just because they'll give her an extra defense. Oh yeah, dice. yeah, 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 you're right. So I assume Thank they would push out yeah, to here. Yeah, yeah. Is that they, okay for they, you? Because they don't, they don't. Uh, in the end, they don't give me any. I don't think they are. They do. No, they won't. They won't. Oh, they're just points, making they it won't a little point. harder. He killed Joan. Joan is three, uh, a French unit army is one. Mm -hmm. And the provincials and peasants. Oh no, well, huh? destroying a, a French unit is one victory point. Uh -huh. But peasant militia and provincial militia are zero, yes? Or have we misread this in the scenario? Uh, they don't bring you uh, any experience, but they still bring you victory points. All right, uh, in that case, you are currently on four. I'm reading it again. Mm -hmm. Victory points, destroying Joan of Arc is three, mm -hmm. destroying a French unit is one, mm -hmm. and each uh, um, disrupted unit at the end of the sixth round with one victory point except for Joan of Arc, which is three. Ah, okay. So I'm, I'm two, four? Uh, well, currently on four with a potential of hitting seven. And you are on? Five with a potential of seven. Okay. Well, let's see what happens when I attack these because that will be two points that you won't get, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're attacking into there. Yeah, so these are my sergeant at arms, mm -hmm. black and red for the heavy sergeant at arms. Uh, oh, and they have cohesion. So that adds a white because I have one, two, three, four sergeant at arms. Mm -hmm. So I have. Uh, then I have, okay, uh, heavy surgeons, I have two, so that's another one, two. Oof. Then the surgeon at, at arms, I have two of them, these are two red dice. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. That's it. Let's see a lot. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay, so you've got two kills. Mm-hmm to disrupt okay. and then shields so 
So, what do they roll for? So, provincial militia as standard get a yellow dice. Yes, plus because you are in in a, a house, one black. Yeah, you get a black one. So, so uh, no. nothing. They're dead. Yep. So they are just. Yeah. So that's a fifth point for you now, with a potential of actually you'll probably get the eight at the end now, because I have three units who can't redeploy here. So no matter what, I win? Um, I think quite possibly, because there's no way for me to earn any more, and we're out of time. So, Leo, congratulations. Uh, eight, seven. Eight to seven. No, sorry, eight, five, because you killed me, and I don't get the additional two. Eight, five. Oh, eight to five. Well played, Leo. That was a really tight game. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I really well, thought... it was so unexpected in the end, you know, what you did. It could have worked. Well, uh, I was just thinking, you know, if I can get in there and make myself enough of a pain in the butt that you just have to turn and deal with me, maybe the resources won't go into killing Joan, who is such a big part of it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've, I, I've really focused on her all the time mm -hmm. because she's what gets me the most uh, victory points. I yep. couldn't get her, but, but then... I disrupted or killed enough of your uh, troops. All right, well, uh, that's <laughs> us done. Everybody, I tell you what, get your comments in below. Tell us what you thought of this game of Joan of Arc. I really enjoyed it. I want to play some more of it. Hopefully you do too. We'll move on. We'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.